Does the way of water circle down a plot hole-sized drain in its final act, or are some fans missing the ocean for the waves? After keeping fans waiting for 13 years, James Cameron's Avatar The Way of Water has arrived in theaters. The film sees Jake Sully and his family leaving the sanctity of their forest home to live with an ocean tribe of Na'vi people in order to escape a vengeful Colonel Miles Quaritch. The sequel began development shortly after the monumental 2009 release of the first Avatar. Following a series of delays, the film is finally out for the world to see in all its 3D glory. Let's get it done. While the first Avatar has never been seen as a groundbreaking feat of storytelling, the visuals and world-building introduced in it have been more than enough to satisfy moviegoers. This appears to be the case for its sequel as well, with its Rotten Tomatoes consensus calling it a stunningly immersive experience. But it seems that even the most jaw-dropping visuals on Earth can do little to hide a notable plot hole regarding the film's final act that fans simply cannot ignore. The third act of The Way of Water centers on a grand battle between the Na'vi and Colonel Quaritch's gang. But for those who think that the newly introduced Metkayina Na'vi Ocean tribe would be by Jake Sully's side, think again. On a Reddit thread discussing the film, one user points out, "...maybe I missed it, but does anyone know where the sea Na'vi people went halfway through the third act?" They go on to describe how the Metkayina disappear following their fight to protect the whale-like Tolkens, leaving Sully and his family to go against Quaritch's gang alone. I need you with me." Other fans chimed in, coming up with their own justifications for the absence of the Metkayina during the fight. Many saw it as the Metkayina people looking out for themselves, like this user who posted, "...I took it as they were only interested in saving the whale and the other sea girl." Another Redditor agreed, writing, "...my best conclusion is they got their kidnapped child back and their fight was over." However, another user offered a solid rebuttal seeing the storytelling purpose for this, posting, "...honestly, I think it was an intended plot hole because Cameron wanted to focus on the family unit. All of that would have been moot had the Sea Tribe stayed." While the Metkayina could have had a more active hand in the final act of Avatar The Way of Water, this is far from a reflection of their involvement throughout the rest of the franchise. With the end of Way of Water confirming that the Metkayina will be helping Jake Sully in his ongoing battle against humanity and director James Cameron confirming that Avatar 3 will be coming out, it seems that we've only touched the surface of what the Waterbound tribe has to offer. Kate Winslet, who portrays the Metkayina chief's wife, Ronal, in Way of Water, says that her character in particular is a crucial piece of the puzzle in the future of the Avatar universe. In an interview with Variety, the Titanic star said, "...whilst my role is actually relatively small comparative to the lengthy shoot, it is a pivotal character in the ongoing story." James Cameron and pulse-pounding finales are a match made in heaven, so hopefully whatever the Metkayina tribe have up their slippery sleeves will make up for any plot hole complaints.